After doing some activities, we can uh, understand a point source as well as extended source. Then, let us do an activity to study point source of light. For this, take a bulb, a cardboard with a small hole at the center, a pencil and a screen. Why do we have a small hole in the center of a cardboard? Because a bulb is pretty big and, and it's not a point source. So we allow light to pass through a small hole so that it acts as a point source. Okay? Now pencil is opaque and it does not allow light rays to pass through it. So a shadow is formed on a screen. A region on screen that receives light. This dark shadow is nothing but umbra formed due to the point source of light. Now let us study an extended source of light. Place a ball fixed on a stand and a screen in front of it such that screen is bigger than height of a ball. After that light a torch from other side of a ball and observe its shadow formed on the screen. Umbra is a part in complete darkness and receives no light from torch whereas penumbra is a part which is in partial darkness and it is faint and receives some light from the torch. Now bring ball closer to the screen as we move ball Towards the screen, umbra reduces and penumbra increases. Now, we will study what is point source and what is extended source. A source of light that is concentrated at a point is called point source. Whereas, an extended source of light is a source of light which is extended mm -hmm. and not a point source. It is called an extended source of light. What happens in point source? We get a dark shadow and this dark shadow is called umbra from a point source. There is only a dark shadow and that dark shadow is called umbra because of this point source. But we get two shadows from extended source which are these two umbra and Penumbra. Umbra and penumbra, these are two shadows, those are formed due to the extended source of light. Now, let us see what is umbra and what is penumbra. The dark part of shadow is called umbra. The dark part of shadow is called umbra. Umbra is the area of total shadow. It is the total shadow. And this is umbra is the shadow formed from a point source of light that just we have discussed. It is formed due to the point source of light. Now what is penumbra? Penumbra is the faint part of a shadow. Umbra is dark. You can remember UG up down. From that word you can remember Umbra is dark. Only remember one thing. The another will be remembered automatically by you. Only remember that umbra is dark part. Then ultimately you will remember that penumbra is faint. The faint part of a shadow is called penumbra. Penumbra is the area of partial shadow. It is not total shadow. But penumbra is partial shadow and that's why it is faint. Then uh, penumbra is a shadow formed from the extended source of light. Okay. In this way we have studied mm -hmm. what is point source, what is extended source as well as the shadow source are formed from this uh, point as well as extended source. Those are umbra and penumbra. Okay. Thank you.